What's up guys, how are y'all doing? My name is Dave and I make these videos to help you with your towing business. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Now, I'm always scrolling along the old interwebs and I often see guys asking about how much they would charge for towing services or asking the community, you know, what they would charge for this tow or that tow. The problem is that expenses will vary between companies, so asking what other companies are charging for towing services in order to figure out your own rates is not the way you should go about it. So instead of playing the guessing game, I've built a towing rate calculator to help you get a rough idea of what you should be charging for your towing rates. I'm going to walk you through the towing rate calculator and show you how to get your rates set so that you're not only competitive, but more important, you're profitable. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell and all that other stuff. All right, so let's get into the video. All right, so in order to use this calculator, you're gonna need to make a copy of it first. And please do not request permission to edit it because I'll just deny it right away. You'll have to make your own copy. And in order to do that, just go up to file and then click on make a copy. And then you can name it whatever you'd like. I'll just leave it like that and then you make a copy and now you can edit any of these cells that you would like well not any cell but as you can see there's different colored cells the green cells are the only cells you should edit editing any other cells will break the calculator and you won't have accurate results so what you're going to want to do is all these green cells is where you're going to want to put your own information I added three more spaces under each expense column in case you have other expenses that aren't on the list. As you can see, there's fixed expenses and variable expenses. Your fixed expenses pretty much don't change or change very little from month to month. Your variable expenses are going to be always changing. It depends on how much you use your truck and your maintenance, you know, your fuel, advertising costs. These are going to fluctuate drastically. Another fixed expense is tow book. I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you guys want a free 90 days uh, tow book for new users only. Uh, if you guys don't know what tow book is, uh, it's a towing software that I personally use for my towing company. Um, it's pretty good software. It, uh, it's really easy to use and it keeps track of everything that you need instead of having to write it on a piece of paper or I really don't know any other way of doing this, any other better way of doing this. Any of you guys new users that sign up, I get a free month of tow book. So that's what I get out of the deal. If you do end up signing up, thank you. I appreciate it. If there's another expense that you have and I don't have it on the list, all you need to do is simply click on the cell and let's put another expense and then type in the amount say it's a hundred bucks and as you can see it'll automatically calculate for you you'll notice that when you get to the variable expense column there are two different fuel calculations along with the advertising row that are red these cells are generated based off of the numbers you type in for CPA fuel number one and fuel number two right here is your CPA and if you don't know what CPA is we'll get to that in a minute but where's the fuel calculations coming from? Now, if you look towards the bottom of your screen, you'll see two tabs or sheets. The sheet we're on now is the towing rate calculator. I've also made a fuel consumption calculator that you'll need to fill out in order to get an estimate of your fuel expense per month. This is directly tied to the number of calls estimated per month, so your fuel expense will change depending on the amount of calls you estimate for yourself. We'll jump into the fuel rate calculator sheet and you'll notice that there are two different fuel consumption calculators to choose from. It's up to you which one you want to use. The first fuel calculator is a bit more accurate as I've included idle time in the calculation. Fuel calculator number two is not as accurate but it's quicker and easier to use. Whichever fuel calculator you choose to use, make sure that the opposite one has the fuel price per gallon set to zero. If you input a number for fuel prices on both calculators, the results will show that you're using double the fuel consumption you should be, which will result in low profit calculations and inaccurate data. Okay, so let's walk through an example real quick. 
let's switch back over to the tow rate calculator. And, and it doesn't matter how big your fleet is. These are the estimated calls per month for one truck only. You don't use two trucks to complete one call. Let's say we can complete 100 calls per month. Then input how many days per month you plan on running. I'm gonna say five days a week. If you're a one man show, then maybe five days a week is more realistic. So we'll put 20 working days here. The calculator will automatically give us an average of how many calls we need to complete per working day. In this case, it's five calls a day. If you're struggling to get more than five calls a day, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll get notified when I post a Google Ads for Towing Services video. All right, next up is the CPA, or cost per acquisition. This is the advertising cost to generate a sale. So for example, if you're running Google Ads, it might take three clicks in order to get a phone call. If your CPC or cost per click is $5, then your cost per acquisition would be $15. If you don't advertise, you can set the CPA to zero. I think my cost per acquisition is right around 13 bucks right now, which has jumped a lot this last year. We'll just put 13 for right now. The rest of the towing calculator, oh, taxes. Yeah, so I also added the tax percent and credit card fee percent. So I also worked that into the equation as well. The rest of the towing calculator is pretty self-explanatory. Go through and input your numbers. If you have a truck payment, put that in. I made a spot for rent, phone, insurance, etc. And then like I said, I left three spaces at the bottom for each expense in case you have other expenses that I haven't listed. Just type in the name and the amount and it will auto-calculate the totals for you. Once you fill in all your expenses, jump over to the fuel rate calculator so we can get a ballpark figure of fuel cost per month. These fuel calculators are set up to generate the cost of fuel consumed per tow. Let's start with fuel calculator number two first. So my truck gets about eight miles per gallon. Um, that's on a pretty good day. And our cost per gallon for diesel right now is actually 539. Actually, you know what? I think it's 519. I'm just gonna go with 519. I gotta make sure that this number is zero or else this will not work correctly. Figure out how many miles per gallon your truck gets on average and input that number here. Then input the price of fuel per gallon in your area. This is, the total miles is your total miles per tow. So from your location, wherever you park your truck, to the pickup address is your in route mileage. Then you're gonna wanna add your loaded mileage. So from pickup to drop off, and then your deadhead from drop off, bringing it back to the shop. How many miles is that total on average? If you mostly do all your towing, you know, just right around within your area, then it might be a 20 mile round trip. If you do long hauls, well, obviously those miles are gonna go up quite a bit. Remember, this is simply an average of the total miles you drive per call. Once you input those figures, you'll get an estimated fuel cost per tow, along with the average fuel cost per day. These numbers use your estimated calls per month to generate your result, so make sure the estimated calls per month cell has a number in it. We've got 100 right here. That's it for fuel calculator number two. Fuel calculator number one is a little bit more advanced. This calculator uses a few more data points than fuel calculator fuel calculator number two, but it's still as easy to use. Input your miles per gallon, your fuel price per gallon as we did before, and then you'll notice that there's a section for idling. I googled how much fuel is burned when idling and I got a few mixed results as expected because there are so many variables, you know, is your, is your truck gas or is it diesel? How many liters? How many miles per gallon is it getting, etc. I kept seeing between a half gallon to 0.8 gallons of fuel burn per hour idling, so I went with 0.7, which I feel is a pretty conservative number. It should work fine to fit everyone, no matter what truck you're running. As before, we'll put this side to zero, and then we'll put our 519 per gallon on that side. As you can see, these numbers are now filled out. It cost me six cents per minute to idle my truck. If I let it sit for an hour idling, almost four bucks. Okay, so now after you get your results for your fuel calculator, switch back to the towing rate calculator and you'll see that you have a total for fuel cost per month. If we switch back to the fuel rate calculator and put this to zero and then switch this back 
to $5.19, and then go back to the towing rate calculator again, you'll see that these numbers have adjusted respectively. Okay, now that all the necessary cells have an input, let's go over to the recommended average rate you should be charging per tow. In this case, we need to do 100 calls per month and charge a minimum of $74 per call just to break even. If we want a 30% profit margin, we'll need to be charging $96 per call on average. Now let's zoom out a little bit here so you can see my whole screen. Okay, I'm just gonna move this just for the time being. Just so you guys can see this. If we change, it's kind of distorted right here, but I just wanna show you guys how this will change. So if you change the estimated calls per month, only 50 calls per month, and we only still only wanna work 20 days a month, five days a week, hit enter, your average calls per day, you only have to do two and a half, so three. But out of those three calls a day, you need to be charging a minimum of $120 average, just to break even. Now if we do double the calls, on average, we only, we only need to be making $50 per call. If you can do 200 calls with one truck per month, and let's say you put a 60% profit, so your hook rate is $81, this is after tax, and this would be your net profit per call. Let's say you're running for motor clubs and you're getting a whopping $35 per hook. You won't be running any advertisement, so that will be zero. We need to get this down to 35, so in order to break even working for motor clubs at $35 a hook, let's see what happens when we put 200 in. 30 cents, that's about right. You would have to do 200 calls for the motor clubs just to make a tiny little profit. But if you only do retail calls, and let's say you only do 100 per month, you're making the same amount of money, but you're doing half the calls, which is gonna result in less fuel, less maintenance, less repairs, less car washes, tires, all your variable expenses are gonna go down. Ongoing education, like maybe you wanna go take a rec master class or I don't know, take some sort of Google ads course. Like I said, the more calls you do, the more variable, exp the more your variable expenses are gonna go up. And this is why you should never 100% rely on motor clubs. Hook rates and cost per mile vary depending on your location. Some areas charge $50 hooks and others $150 hooks. I'm only talking about light duty in this case, but this calculator should work for medium and heavy operators as well. With this in mind, you should be calling around to your competition and finding out what their rates are. This will give you a baseline as to whether you can increase your rates or have to find ways to either reduce your expenses or increase your value by offering a free pen with every tow or try to beat your competition on ETA. If your average break-even towing service rate is lower than your competition, then you're in a good spot. You've got plenty of profit margin to work with. If it's higher, then you're either gonna need to increase the value to compensate for your higher rates or increase your call volume. Last thing I wanna point out is that I didn't include wages in this expense column. And it's because it seems like most companies struggle with deciding whether to pay employees hourly, commission, salary, or a mix, which makes it difficult for me to build a one-size-fits-all calculator for wages. If you're interested in a specific wage calculator, just leave me a comment and I'll try to get to it. Just leave me a comment and I'll see what I can do. Well, I think that's about it for this video. I hope you guys find this calculator helpful. If you have any questions, problems, or ideas you want to want me to include, let me know and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.